this year i made 25 i just finished my bachelor's degree in accounting and finance but due to the pandemic and the never ending lockdowns i have not been able to graduate starting a youtube channel in the middle of the pandemic is not the best career choice i've ever made but i'm really passionate about making videos and getting people to share their stuff big stuff and stupid stuff i just like people to have conversations that fill them up so to spread this message i'm online in your eyes and ears talking about talking starting today i'm going to make a series of videos which i will call something to tell you the goal is to get people to share more than just highlights that we all put on social media Sometimes it's deep, hard, and family issues that need verbal processing. Sometimes it's just where we're eating, shopping lately, and what we're watching. I'm gonna be sharing here with you daily, but I really want you to reach out to a friend and you guys exchange your own list of things you want to share. Because even though the world feels noisier than ever, with information on our fingertips, social media streaming, it seems like some of the most important conversations have gone lost. We are talking, but we're not connecting. We are telling, but we're not listening. We've all caught up with your life on social media, and so we are all caught up. Releasing what's on our hearts and what's on our minds with a trusted friend is one of life's greatest pleasures. I sincerely believe that holding in our emotions is making us sick. Pretending to be someone we are not is making us even sicker. For some of us have suffered with anxiety, we felt deeply lonely, we felt like we don't have friends, we don't, have, we don't belong anywhere, and we don't have anyone to speak anything with. For the people that love us, we felt like we need to project an all is well kind of image. Starting this vlog is what I think will help me and will help you. Take this step forward to share myself and for you to share yourself with other people. Opening my eyes to see and letting myself to be seen is a catalyst to get my life from one stage to another. And you know what's important about talking? Listening. I am a talker. I've always been a talker and here I am with something to tell you. The biggest shifts that have happened in my life the last couple of years and I have gone through major changes. They've all come from shutting up and listening. My know it all did not or does not serve anyone in my life. When I finally started to listen to the voices that I trust, including my deep inner voice that I had put on mute, a lot of things started to open up. There were friends where there had been loneliness. I quit certain behaviors and projects and relationships that had not been working but I had held on to. My heart, my eyes and my mind opened up to points of view that I had shut down hard. This opening being a student instead of a teacher all comes back to listening and this is very important so i may have something to tell you or you may have something to tell someone else but in the sharing please remember one thing listening now speaking of listening i want to explain a little bit about the vision i have for this show each episode will start with a prompt you will be encouraged to take each prompt and answer it on social media or text it to a friend or use it as a journaling topic. Sometimes like right now, it will just be me talking. Or sometimes I will invite someone to share, some, someone with an expertise or something interesting to share. A guest. Now, I am pretty committed to this show being under 30 minutes most of the time. It will be daily, foot for thought, with a prompt built in. You will be able to find show notes on my Facebook and Instagram. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel so that you don't get to miss anything. Lastly of the things I have to tell you today, this is an experiment. Maybe I'll have nothing to tell you. Maybe you'll have nothing to tell me. That's okay. I have spent too much time on starting things in life because I'm not sure how they'll end. And I don't want to be scared of endings. And I no longer want to be scared of beginnings. This is my commitment. I'll show up for this show. I'll have something to tell you. And I'll keep encouraging you to share your stuff. I'll go first.